fellow Jamaicans, as we send our children out today to start a new year of school, let's pause and reflect on the very real importance of education and the need for us as a nation to invest in our children so that they can fulfill their great promise. We must ensure that our children have the best chance to compete in this global village where they are not only being judged on our standards, but on international standards. Parents, pay close attention to the work that your children are doing in school. Always try to attend PTA meetings and be a part of the school community. You know the seeds of greatness are within your children, but our education system will not give us the results we all want and need if you are not a big part of the process. Preparing a good learning base at home and reinforcing the importance of school and what is learned there. Our schools need you as much as we need them. Students, please pay attention in class. Make time for work and play, but ensure you do your homework and hand it in on time. Ask questions in class if you don't understand. Tell the teacher if you can't see the board. Try hard to be disciplined and have good manners and morals. You are the future leaders of Jamaica. A bright and prosperous future for Jamaica can only be realized if you, or future leaders, work hard and be the best you can be as young citizens and students of Jamaica. Teachers, we understand your challenges and encourage you to continue to go above and beyond to pull the best out of your students. We also encourage you to look out for the ones who might need more support. Discuss possible strategies with the parents and the guidance counselor. You can make the difference. We of the Jamaica Labour Party understand the hardships and struggles of not only the parents and students, but the teachers and administrators of our schools. We know how difficult it is for many parents to send their children to school and we know how difficult it is for many schools to provide a good environment when starved of resources. Regarding the payment of auxiliary fees, we were pleased to hear the Minister's new call on principals to exercise flexibility. The Ministry of Education must, however, speak with absolute clarity on this matter to prevent further confusion among parents and schools. The Ministry must also quickly develop clear guidelines on auxiliary fees. On the matter of water, parents, please find out if your child's school has adequate water. And if possible, give your child drinking water to take to school. Let's all work together to keep our children healthy during this water crisis. No teaching time must be lost due to this water crisis. The government has had months to plan for this new school term. While we're pleased that 200 tanks have been given to some schools, much more work needs to be done. We are especially concerned about the number of schools that don't have tanks and question whether the Ministry of Education has made sufficient arrangements to refill tanks where they exist. The Ministry of Finance should see to it that the NWC and the Ministry of Education are able to deliver to all schools affected by the drought sufficient water for their needs. Jamaicans, let us all strive for the best this term and recognize that this is a new day and a new start. Our children are our best hope for the future and the education system is vital for our nation's development. Parents, students, teachers, administrators, let us all work together to secure the best for our students.